Manuals. Usually they come with your bike. But let's be honest, who reads those? And if you do, what do you remember of it? That's why BBB Cycling made working on your bike a bit easier with Watch That Manual. You don't need to read anything because we'll show you exactly what to do and what not to do. Inflating your tires. It looks like the easiest thing there is, but sometimes there's just a little more to it than you think. There are different valves, pumps, and your tire pressure is not always the same, especially if you're going to cycle a new territory, and it's good to know the differences. In this, watch that manual, I'll show you what you need to take into account. There are three types of valves, the Dunlop, Presta, and Schrader valve. The Dunlop, also known as the Dutch or Classic valve, is a fairly straightforward one and you'll find it on most city bikes. You'll find the Presta, or French valve, on most road bikes and modern mountain bike tires, and we mainly know the Schrader valve from cars. It's useful to know the differences because they work slightly differently. How to inflate a tire depends on the head of your bicycle pump. If it has a clamping mechanism, use the large opening for the Schrader valve and the smaller one for the Dunlop or Presta valve. Pumps with the threaded head are used for the Schrader valves and their adapter is to make them work with other types too. Do you have a flat tire while on the road or do you just want to add some air? Then you probably use a handy mini pump. There are mini pumps with a fixed pump head that you clamp over the valve but there are also compact pumps that use a screw-on valve head. Chances are that you will come across a Presta valve with a narrow, screwable head nowadays. Sometimes it might get a bit stuck, especially if you follow the rules and don't use a valve cap. Just tap it to start the airflow. Always close the head with a Presta valve after inflating, and don't forget the rim nut. When you ride tubeless, you always use a standalone Presta valve. Let's talk air pressure. The wider, the lower is the rule of thumb. The maximum pressure should be indicated on the side of your tire in bar or PSI. An average city bike tire needs about four bar or 60 PSI. A road bike tire between four and eight bar, that's 60 and 120 PSI. Gravel tires take between two and three bars, that's 30 and 44 PSI. For mountain biking or cyclocross, you mostly use a pressure between 1.8 and 2.5 bars. That's 26 and 36 PSI. If you want to make sure your pressure is on point, a meter such as the gadget gauge to check comes in handy. And maybe you have to inflate other things from time to time. So that's why we made the handle box. It contains all the common adapters with which you can use for your bicycle pump to inflate balls, boats, or even your swimming pool. So that's how you do it. Inflate your tires with Watch That Manual.